Welcome to the homework for lesson nine. This is module four of grade two. Write your name first. And we're solving using the algorithm. Or as uh, parents might know it, it's carryover addition, vertical addition. We're working with hundreds now. So because of the place value chart, we're not going to have room to draw disks like this. We're just going to draw dots for each place value. But make sure the dots are big enough that you can count them and know for sure what they are. And I'll show you what I mean when we get to it. So let me just erase that. Do the algorithm first. <clears throat> the tendency is to draw everything on the place value chart and then just vertically write down the add ends and the, and the sum without using the crutch marks and not actually using the algorithm. So do the algorithm first and then check it with the place value chart. 127 and 14. Be careful that you have your well, let me just use a different color for this. Some people will draw little lines here just to make sure we have hundreds, tens, and ones. We have our place values lined up properly so that we're adding ones to ones and tens to tens, hundreds to hundreds. Seven and four is 11. That's a 10 with one left over. And then four tens and 100, 141. Now if we draw this, 127 is going to be 100, two tens, and seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then 14 is going to be a 10, and four ones. One, two, three, four. There's ten ones. We can bundle those. And we have one hundred, four tens, and one one, 141. 135, 46, Six and five is eleven. There's the ten and there's the one. Three and four is seven. One more is eight. And hundreds, we just have that hundred. Drawing on the chart, 135. There's our hundred. Three tens. Five ones. <clears throat> and then the 46 is going to be four tens. One, two, three, four, and six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got ten ones. We can bundle into a ten. That leaves us with one. Eight tens and one one, hundred eighty one, hundred eight, thirty seven, eight and seven is fifteen. That's a five and a ten, ten five. The zero is just nothing, so three and one is four, hundred forty five. If we draw it, it's going to be a hundred, zero tens, and eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thirty-seven is three tens. One, two, three, and then seven more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can see this ten group right here. We're going to redraw that as a 10. <clears throat> we 
we have a hundred, we have four tens, and we have one, two, three, four, five, ones, 145. Now, this page here says solve using the algorithm and write a number sentence of the problem modeled on the place value chart. So let's see what we have here. In the this model, we have our two add ends, right? This was our first add end here. <clears throat> and this is our below the line that I just drew is our second add end. So the first add end had a hundred and four tens and five, six, seven, eight ones. And our add in below the line is going to be two tens and six ones. Eight and six is 14, so that's a four and a 10. And then we add our tens. Four and two is six, one more is seven, and that's 174. So the number sentence is going to be 148 plus 26 equals 174. Jane made 48 lemon bars and 23 cookies. How many lemon bars and cookies did Jane make? <clears throat> so we're looking at L for lemon bars, 48 of those. Cookies, 23. And we want to know how many. So there, we drew it. And our number sentence is going to be 48 plus 23, and it equals. We're going to solve this. I'm going to do it vertically and on the place value chart. Let's say it doesn't say which method we have to use. But I'm going to use both because we've been practicing both. Eight and three is 11, that's a 10 and a one. And then we add four and two, that's six and one more is seven, 71. It's gonna be 71. And if we draw it out, it's gonna be four tens for 48. One, two, three, four, and eight ones. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the 23 is gonna be two tens and three more ones, one, two, three. Gonna bundle those 10, that's gonna be another 10. And then you can see we have seven tens and a one. Jane seventy one treats. <laughs> Or you could write lemon bars and cookies. <clears throat> Jane made 19 more lemon bars. How many lemon bars does she have? So she had 48 lemon bars in part A. Right, that's what it said before. So we're gonna have to add the 48 and the 19. So she had 48 before, and then the more is 19. Vertically, it's 48 and 19. 8 and 9 is 17. That's a 7 and a 10. And then that's 6 tens. 4 plus 1 is 5 and 1 more is 6. 67. 48 plus 19 
equals 67. Now that would be, you know, those, these, this 48 plus 19 is easier to solve mentally with the me methods we've been practicing than it is to write it down vertically or do it with the place value chart. But the reason we're practicing this is we want to practice with numbers that are understandable and easy to work with. We want to learn how to use these methods so that when we have to use them with much larger numbers, we'll be able to use them. We'll remember how to do it. So let's see, that's 48. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. And 8 ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 19 more is 1 more 10. And 9 more ones. 1 more 10. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's the 9 more. Bundle that 10. Oops, it's going to have to go up here. Six tens, seven ones, 67. Jane has 67 lemon bars.